Welcome to Let's Learn Jurassic World Evolution. All right, this is Atticut, and welcome to another Jurassic World Evolution video. In this one, um, this is going to be a little bit different. This is going to be one of our fundamentals videos. And this video is as much for me as it is for you. Uh, my good buddy, Machik Robeck, and Machik, I know I'm uh, butchering the pronunciation of your name, but just think of it as your hillbilly name. So if you ever have occasion to um, visit West Virginia, that's probably what they'll end up calling you. Either that or they'll just call you that nice furrin feller. Uh, that, 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 could, that could happen too. But anyway, um, thanks to Major, he pointed out that I've been messing up big time with my genome modification. So I want to go through how this genome modification works. So we're all for, over here on Isla Nublar. So we've done enough of our play to qualify for the sandbox uh, um, island, Nublar. And it isn't something that I don't know if I would ever go play it myself because I don't like free stuff. Free stuff uh, kind of implies uh, no thinking and no no strategy. But uh, anyway, uh, forget that editorial comment. Let's go in here and look at what I've been doing wrong. Okay, uh, let's take a Ceratosaurus as the first thing we want to do. You can see, in fact, I'm going to go back and run him back to... And that's one thing we see right off the bat, that whatever you set up as your um, modifications, they carry on from island to island and creation center to creation, creation lab to creation lab. Um, so we're going to run him back to baseline. So he's got no modifications. He's a rating, base rating of 93 and a viability of 89. I'm going to write those two numbers down. 93 and 89. Okay, so what I've been doing, if you guys have noticed, is I've been uh, clicking on this, applying this, 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 and basically what I've been doing, I didn't realize it, <clears throat> I thought I was putting all these on this guy, and what I was really doing was just whatever one I happened to pick last, that's what I was applying because it turns out the way this works is this is the console version of a pick list. And I don't use consoles, so this was very unfamiliar to me. So that's my excuse. It wasn't my fault. It was totally the developer's fault. I'm totally kidding. kidding. It was my fault. But I didn't realize you could only put one thing from each of these categories, one modification. So I've been doing, thankfully, the cosmetics correctly. I've just been picking one and moving on. For some reason, that one work probably probably because there weren't so many options and my little brain could, could understand it but when you get to like resilience for the kratosaur you have to choose which one of these you want so each one and what i was doing if you kind of if you kind of watch this uh let's go do it like i was doing i would pick robust digestion so we're down to 82 and a rating of 113. well then i would go and say oh i want to add intuitive learning well that's going to running down and and um so I actually was losing the value that I'd put in with robust digestion because I'm no longer using this. And this is actually showing us because there's no apply here, that, that means this is the one we have chosen, the intuitive learning. And let's see if there's one down here that gives us a better rating. All right, here we go. The immune response 2.0 will bump him up to a 119 and a 73 viability. Okay, so then we move over to the next one. And we say, okay, what one do I want to apply? And I would tend to go with whichever one gives me the highest rating. And that would be, by the way, the very first one, tooth hardness. So that will bump us up to a 126. Now, what were we without it? We were 119. So putting that on there is going to give us uh, seven more points of rating. And now we've actually done all we can do. We've added one from, from this column. One from cosmetic, which by the way, that's the first one you want to get and try to target your research so you get those cosmetic ones to, to make sure they apply to all the dinosaurs. Not every dinosaur can take Savannah, for example. And one from resilience, the immune, re immune response. 
and one from attack, tooth hardness. And later, as we open up these further ones where we have the opportunity to use some of the ones that are out there, then uh, we would have more modifications and bump him up higher. But the highest we can get this guy is 126. He only has three mods and he's still a 70% uh, qualification. So when we go to create him, the other good thing about this, now, now that I've, thanks to Maychick, I've figured this, taken the time and figured this out, is that now the way I set up my upgrades makes more sense to me because before I thought, oh, I got to have everything and da 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 But now I could set up, I could add hatchery capacity, incubation speed, whatever. I'm already at 70%, so if I add 10, that's going to put me at 80. So then the question I have to ask myself is, do I feel like gambling? Oh, actually, take that back. We'll put 2.0 on there. And that's going to give us 20%. So now we're up to 90. So if I feel like gambling with that 10% and I want to hurry up, I could add something else on there. Like, uh, uh, well, if I had it available, I could set up incubation speed and make, make the dinosaur come out faster. And if I wanted to just make sure that uh, I got him out, uh, I could either just add a 1.0, which is cheaper, which would make him up to 100, or I could add another 2.0 down here, that is. Okay, and now we've got this guy. If we uh, go back and incubate the Kratosaur that we now have modified, we're at 70 plus 40, so we've got overkill. We're, we are sure that he's going to come out the door. And so let's incubate him, and let's look at our park rating. And just what you'd expect, we've got nothing right now, so this will make it easy. We've got zero uh, in our dinosaur rating, and we might as well get another one queued up and ready to go. Let's uh, put a, a raptor in there with uh, our with her, with our Kratosaur, and we'll do the same thing. We'll pick we'll pick a pa well wait a minute. Let's run run her back to to null, so I'll make sure I know what I'm doing here. The null gene, of course, means we just don't have anything. So we've got our raptor back to. Her base rating of 56 and a viability of 66. So we haven't uh, discovered all the uh, raptor fossils and done all our research. So let's add a, a pattern. That's up to 69. And we're going to add one of these guys. It looks like it could be either intensive repair or intuitive learning. And intensive repair gives us a little better resilience lifespan's the same either way so let's go with intensive repair and then we come down here to attack we're at 73 tooth hardness would make us 78 and aggressive would make us 78 so tooth hardness would be the way to go I believe okay so now our velociraptor is only at 52 percent again because we don't have a, all the research uh, the fossil extraction done but with our upgrades we're at 92 percent and we could add another upgrade another success and make it a hundred percent but let's not bother let's just go ahead and incubate that as well all right we're back now our, our i've fast forwarded to uh, ready to release our dinosaur remember our ratings are all zeros so let's release our keratosaur cool looking thing. Alright, now our Kratosaurus is happy, has a rating of 126, authenticity of 25, and mods of 33. Now let's see what that means over here. Our overall, sure enough, authenticity 65, mods 33, and we have a variety penalty because we only have one dinosaur out there of one type, giving us a net island rating uh, for our dinosaurs of 56. So now uh, we've got our first dinosaur out there. He gave us 50, she gave us 56 points based on those three mods that we gave her, uh, which were, of course, all we were able to give her. And, okay. 
So um, I'll fast forward this again until our Velociraptor is ready and we'll bring out the Velociraptor and we'll look at these numbers and just double check and make sure the changes and when we can expect what the changes will be. So we got 68, 25, 33, minus 70, and 56. Now, of course, we would want to do, if we were going to stay and play this park, we would want at least two Velociraptors in this paddock because one is going to get lonely, get unhappy, and start uh, knocking down fences. But um, for our purposes, one is one's enough. So there's our raptor. You can see she's a little not not pleased. I would like to have a friend. Okay, let's see what that did to our ratings. Sure enough, we went up as we would expect. Our base rating went up to 117, which added the base rating of the raptor. Our authenticity rating is now 32. We're at 55 on our mods because we had some mods on our raptor. Our variety penalty actually is greater now. That's interesting. I have a greater penalty for our variety, and we went up 107. So 107, 56. We gained 51 by putting that raptor in there. And the raptor itself has a rating, has a rating of 78. So out of those 78 ra rating points, if you want to think of it that way, we got 56 of them credited to us in this particular circumstance. Now as we get a bigger variety, of course, we'll get rid of that variety penalty and we'll all be good. But uh, that's not what I wanted to talk about here. I want to talk about that, that whole idea of how you set these guys up and do the modifications. So um, just a quick recap. This is set up the way console players play. So I'm a PC guy, so this fooled me. But shame on me, so you get to pick one from column A, and one from column B, and one from column C if it's available, and one from column D if it was available, but it's not yet. So um, anyway, I hope that helps you. I, I, it helped me. I just, I just learned a whole bunch of stuff, uh, and honestly, it helps me with not only am I going to quit flipping through there and acting like I'm applying all these genomes that I'm not really doing, but it also helps me understand how I could strategize a little bit about once I have some um, options here in terms of upgrades how you might want to use the op upgrades a little bit differently so I hope that helps you uh, I know it helped me and, and Machik thank you so much and I just want to make a comment that on this channel this is all about all of us getting better uh, it's not about me showing off how good a player I am because obviously in this case I was a total noob but um, uh, through the comments that you give back, it helps all of us to, uh, d to develop our game. So uh, thank you again, Magic, and thank you all for your support and your views, and we'll see you on our next uh, Jurassic World Evolution video. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it adds to your enjoyment of the game, and I hope you'll join us for our next Jurassic World Evolution video. Thank you.